In this class, we are going to learn how to generate or create .xlsx file, also known as MS Excel file, with the help of Visual Builder application. That is by making use of Seed.js external JavaScript library. I have already created one application in order to demonstrate the use case, wherein on click of the button, this Visual Builder application will make use of the Seed.js external JavaScript library, and it will generate the file that is .xlsx file, and it will download to my local computer. Let me just open this file. So if you can see we are having those details like column 1 and column 2 and few people details is available over here. Now I will walk you through the code shortly in order to show you how I have achieved the use case. Now before that let me show you which library I have used. I am here in the CDN package for this sheet JS also popularly known as the XLSX JS. I am making use of this xlss.full.min.js and you can refer this CDN path with your index.html script tag as well as with the help of the required JS in app flow dot json file so you can refer in both the places over here as well app flow json file all those things we had seen in our earlier class we can provide the path over here or one more method is index dot html in the script tag you can provide either one we can choose now let me show you in the project we have to go to this main right sheet js file so you can make use of this project which i will be uploading in the description or in the resource section of this class so this is very simple page i am just having the button over here with the name as create excel file now if i click on the button i am having an event over here let me just click on this event you can make use of this javascript call function over here and you can invoke or call the javascript function i have made use of this assign variable and i will show you this is one more method how you can make a call to function that is javascript function which you have created in your visual builder application and populate any variable so this is dummy test variable i have created it has no significance so I'm making use of this function dot download file. I will let me just go to this function. Here I'm referring to this require.js path which I have provided here in the app flow JSON. Suppose if you don't provide this XLSS and the way you how you have to access the package, then you can make use of something like this define square bracket and directly refer to the file that is XLSS file with the help of index.html script. So if you are confused what to choose when you can just refer our previous class that is how we can make use of external javascript libraries in order to create any custom solution with the help of visual builder application now all those things i have referred the seed.js github repository and i have made use of the same in order to create the workbook so if you see our workbook name is demo.xlsx and the same file it has downloaded with the name demo.xlsx and this is the data with which i'm populating the workbook and this is the worksheet name that is the first over here so like this we can make use of sheet.js library and in the visual builder application and we can create or generate .xlsx file because at the time of recording this class we don't have any native support for generating .xlsx file in visual builder application you have to go for external libraries popular are sheet.js and xl.js libraries now coming to how we can read or pass the content of excel file with the help of sheet.js that we are going to see in our next class.